What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Fish Friday. Today, I'm gonna be disassembling my MP10 Quiet Drive. I know, you guys are probably like, you're an idiot, you just got it, but the first time I got it, I kind of dropped it because I didn't secure the wire, and uh, yeah, the magnet came off and then it fell to the ground. So, I emailed Ecotech, and they were like, well, we don't really do bearing replacements, so you can buy a new dry side. I'm gonna take it apart and see what it is. Worst comes to worst, I got it for like 150 bucks, so, you know, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. We have new fish videos every single Friday. We are so close to 3,000 subscribers. Be that one that helps me get there. Help a sister out. All right, we're gonna get right into this video. Let's check out the MP10. So here it is, and I've had it literally running on two bars because it is just so loud. Uh, is it this one? I can't see. Listen to this. It's not supposed to be that loud. Let me turn that down a bit. I had the rubber spacer in there and I cranked up the speed just to see what it was capable of and that guy said bye bye and he went all the way down and then it started making this noise. Now I know some of you guys said that some noise is normal but I mean like I put it at 5% and I hear it on the other side of the house. I don't think that's normal for a quiet drive. I'm pretty sure also more reading I did it seems to be an issue that the bearings go bad on the MP10s. Again, granted, mine probably went bad sooner considering it fell from five feet, but you know, here we are anyway. So I'm gonna take this guy off of here and then over here, the tools that we're gonna be using to try to get this done. So I picked up some bearings off of Amazon. I was reading that there was two different sizes. They only had this one in the stainless. I was hoping I could get both in that, but they didn't have them. And then these were, I think they're like chrome steel. I have a little screwdriver, a little hammer for some force. People were saying like a carpenter square to try to like press off the bearings. I didn't have one, but I think this might work right here. So getting, getting a little creative with it. We'll see if it works once we get down to it. We got the MP10 here, ready to disassemble. A lot of people use picks to pry this stuff off. I did not have, so we're improvising here and I got baby flatheads. We'll see if it works in a second. I got my notes for the order, so I hopefully don't screw this up too bad. But you know how that goes. I'm kind of on a timeline, so we're just gonna get right to this. Step one is to pry off this back little cover. This is where the pick would come in hand handy. Dang, I don't think this is gonna work. I'm screwing this all up. It's important to always remember that um, it's just a pump. That goes for everything in life. <laughs> I got it. We improvise in all 2021, folks. Now I got access to my three little screws right here. Oh, it's gotta be a little fatter than that. BRB. And we're back, a bunch of tools. I just gotta find the right, the right one. Got it! First, well, second try, technically. Right, so we gotta get the fat guy. Fat guy breaks it loose. And then the skinny guy comes in to finish the job. I'm applying some serious pressure here. Oh, I already feel this thing. Let me check my handy dandy uh, notepad here. Take off the sticker, expose the three screws, peel back the rubber sticky. I see the screws. If I can get this done in like the next 15 minutes before I have to leave, I'm gonna be super pumped. <laughs> Pun intended. That was a good one. Three more screws here. One. Two. I really hope this is the issue. If not, we just had some fun taking apart the MP10 and uh, you guys know how to do it now. Oh. This? Oh, I see. Pry it apart and then push this cable. It's all attached, so you gotta push it up and, and we, oh gosh. We got two parts. So this guy goes over here. This guy just fell off. We'll put him over there for now. <laughs> I might have to watch this video back to figure out how to put it apart, put it back. We move this guy down 
to give us some space. Three more screws here before we can get to the inner part. These look even tinier. Let's just go with the small guy. Dang it, they're not gonna work. A uh, little, got it. Man, I've used three different screwdrivers to get this done. But what's important is we're getting it done. Sure. Oh, wasn't expecting that. Look how long these are. Pull off the rear plate. This, no, this. Got like a little gap in there, but. Oh, we're close, guys. We're so close. Intermission. My sources tell me you just gotta wiggle this out, but it doesn't seem to be wiggling. I think I gotta Allen key this guy out. Couple more tools to the trade. I'm not gonna use this, however. It has an Allen key set that I need. I thought I had Allen keys somewhere and apparently I lost them. And then I got this cool little thing. I don't really know what it is, but it looks like it will... Oh shit, everything's sticking to this. It will fit in there to... Oh, you know, Milwaukee, you guys make these things really hard to... I get it, security, but... Come on, you gotta use another screwdriver to open these things? Killing me. Eh, this looks like it would work. Magnets. It's a little too big. There we go. That's the size, but now everything's magnetic. Pissing me off, these tools. Come on! Alright. So I got it in there. Stop my timer. That means it's time for me to go. So close. Ah, I'm not really sure how one of the guys took it off without this Allen key. Maybe it was already loose. I don't know, but I don't see this coming out without it. Maybe just take off this. Oh, okay. We got the magnet off. This should come out. We got it, guys. We got it. 6262 two, six, two from Singapore. This says 626RS. Six, six, I still can't get this thing off. Let me just need some force. Oh, yeah, look at it. Look at it spin. It's spinning wobbly. I don't think I'm gonna replace this one. I feel like it, it's rolling pretty solid. Granted, I'm not spinning it as fast. I really feel like this is the problem right here. Can you see it spin? It's spinning all wonky. And I hear it going Well, looks like I'm gonna have to revisit this a little bit later because I gotta go. I guess we'll leave this like this. Nobody will touch it. That was the sticky part. Terrible idea. It will be fine. All right, I just got back from this shoot and I came home to this. Woo! So while I was away, I got to thinking. I think I might be able to get it off if I put the magnet back on and then unscrew that side before I take the magnet side off. I'm gonna try that. If that doesn't work, I think I have a secondary method to stick something into the centerpiece where the O-ring goes and just hammer out the, hammer out the bearing. I'm not sure if it's gonna work. We're gonna try one first and then go to it. I just really don't wanna leave this like, you know, like this. I'm gonna try this way first. So I'm thinking if I have this clamped and then I have something in, in, in where this goes and then I hit this down, with a little hammer, it might pop out. <laughs> I got it! Heck yeah, dude. I just needed a little brain power, you know? Sometimes when things aren't working your way, you just gotta step away, give your brain a little bit to process, and then come back to it. We got our two bearings. Now I gotta pop these guys out. I think I gotta get it harder. We're gonna take this to the garage. I found a little hitty pin thing that fits perfect, so we're gonna do this. Hey! <laughs> we got it! We got it! I messed this up pretty bad when I uh, grabbed it with these guys, so I'm, I'm hoping that that doesn't mess it up, but I'm just going to do that bearing, not both of them, for now. If it ends up still being super loud, then I could just take it apart and try to do the other side. So the reason I don't think it's the bearing is because I move, I, I spin this plate, quiet. I spin this big guy, and that's where the noise is, which is weird, right? I've had about enough. We're, we're just gonna put it back together. No 
know, shaking, so it's just like I was. Dang. Uh, it might not actually be as loud. I plugged it in. I think it is quieter. That's at like 40%. I, I'm gonna plug it in. I'm gonna put it in the water. By the way, learn my lesson. Put a tire wrap just in case. So that's 50%. It's definitely better, but I think I still, I think I still need to do the other bearing too. Like you can't barely hear it. I mean, you hear it, but it's at 50%. It was like that before at 10%. All right, so stay tuned. So I guess that's it. It's a little bit better. Still not where it's supposed to be, I don't think. So I'm gonna end up taking it apart again. Yeah, at least you guys know how to take apart your MP10 quad drive now. Maybe it'll help you out. Maybe use different tools than I used for a little smoother of a process, but hey, got the job done. Hopefully I could put it up to maybe 10% now. I don't know. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and turn those notifications on. We got new fish videos every single Friday. You don't want to miss it. We'll see you guys in the next one. Later.